Hello to everyone, my name is Lily and welcome to my channel. Please click on the CC button so you can have English subtitles. In this video, we are going to talk about cruelty-free makeup products. I want to thank Yasai for making this video possible. In fact, Yasai asked me to choose from a selected list of products that are cruelty-free and they challenged me to try to create a makeup look with uh, this uh, cruelty free product so let's jump into the video as always before i start the video we have to do a huge disclaimer okay i'm not a makeup expert i don't know anything about makeup i consider myself still a newbie so don't take this video too seriously we're here to have fun and discover new products new brands products and brand that are cruelty free. As you can see, I have a part of my makeup done because as always, I'm not confident enough to show myself in front of camera without any makeup on. And we can start the video. Let's start with the base. And for the base, I choose two products. The first one is the Cosrx Blemish Cover Cushion. This is in the shade 21 Bright Beige. But sadly, I won't be able to use this Kisho foundation in this video because it's too dark for me. And I'm so sad because this Kisho foundation is super popular. I really, really wanted to try it. And I had this Kisho foundation in my wish list for a really long time. But then I tried this Kisho foundation and it, it was too dark. <sighs> it seems like when I was placing this order, the universe was trying to say something to me. So the second base product that I bought was this one from Purito. This is the Chica Clearing BB Cream and this is in the shade 21 Light Beige. And I really, really like this BB Cream. When I tried this BB Cream for the first time, I was terrified that I chose the wrong shade for this product as well because it's super dark it seems almost gray <laughs> so i was like oh my gosh no i chose the wrong color but actually even though it's really dark when i try it on my skin it looks so nice it matches my skin tone really really well and this bb cream it so good when i apply it on my skin it seems like i'm wearing nothing it doesn't take away the natural glow of your skin it makes your skin look really really healthy at the end of the day this bb cream stays on your skin and makes your skin look so good i think i will be using this product all summer i think it's perfect for this season one thing that you have to keep in mind is that it's a BB cream, so it doesn't have a huge coverage. For the blush, I choose this one. This is from Katy Doll and it's the Hello Kitty Bottom Blush in the color Frozen Peach. Look at this packaging, it's so cute. The blush comes with a puff that I still have to learn how to use it. I tried a couple of times and I didn't like it at all. For the eyes, I choose these two products and are Shining Pearl Shadow Stick from Caradium. I hope I pronounced the name of the brand correctly. I choose the shade 3 Orange Marmalade and the color 4 Gold Night. I have uh, a conflicted feelings about this shadow sticks. I bought these two products because I thought I could use them by themselves uh, to create a really quick, easy, effortless look. But the thing is, you can't use these shadows alone. You have to use or a primer or you have to put a base on your eyes because if you don't do it, after like less than 10 minutes, the product go in the crease and it creates a huge mess. <laughs> but uh, what I do is uh, to do my normal eye makeup look and then I apply these products on top so that I can have a super shiny makeup look. Usually if I do a makeup like this I put the shade number three on top and then I use the shade four in my inner corner to give more light to my makeup. <laughs> use 
fitted these two products the way I do. I think they're super pretty and they give to my makeup this super sparkly look that I really, really love. The last product I choose is Haimishu. It's the right pronunciation, Haimish, I hope so. Anyway, I choose this lip tint and this is Varnish Velvet Lip Tint from Haimish in the shade number one, Cherry Tomato Red. With this product, I went outside of my comfort zone because usually I don't wear bright colors on my lips. I usually like nudish color. So when I saw this product, I thought it was the perfect moment to try something new, to go out of my comfort zone. The color, it's really pretty. The product, it's so good. It stays for a really long time. Usually I don't wear really bright colors, so instead of going super bold, I apply a little bit of the product. I use my finger to spread the color for a really natural look, but you also can use this lip tint as everyone does, and you can create a full lip makeup. <laughs> camera this lip tint seems almost orange definitely it has an orangey undertone but in real life it's really red and this red it's so beautiful i really like it these were all the products that i choose i'm extremely thankful to yesstyle for this campaign thanks to yesstyle i was able to try new products and to educate myself and get to know new uh, creative film brands. I already knew Cosarex and Purito, but I was able to get to know new brands as uh, Caradium, Haimish and Lisha. And I have already several products of these brands in my on my wish list. I can't wait to try these uh, cruelty free products and discover and try more cruelty free brands. If you want to see more cruelty free brands and products, I'm going to leave the link to the dedicated page on Yesstyle. So if you're interested, you can go and check the link. Also, all the links to the product that I show you in this video are going to be in the description box. If you use my links or use my code XLilyWhiteXX, you can get an extra discount on your order. So if you want to use my links or my code, thank you very much, but you don't have to, of course. In the comments, let me know which product did you like the most. I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye!